In this video, we'll find the percent composition by mass for the water in this copper 2 sulfate. When we look at the formula, we have our copper and then the sulfate, the S and the four O's, but then we have this dot 5H2O. And what that means is that we have our CuSO4 here and there are five water molecules around it. So to find the percent composition of mass of this 5H2O in CuSO4 5H2O, we'll use this formula. We'll take the molar mass for the part of the compound we're interested in, that's the 5H2O, and then we'll divide this by the entire molar mass for the copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate compound. Then we multiply that by 100, and that gives us the percent by mass of the H2O in copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. So let's do that. To find the molar mass for the part, the 5H2O, we could multiply 5 times the molar mass of water. When we do that, for these 5H2O here, 5 times the molar mass of water, that gives us 90.10 grams per mole. To find the molar mass for the entire copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, we'd find the CuSO4 and then add the 5H2Os to that, and we would get 249.72 grams per mole. So in our equation, the 90.10 grams per mole, and divide that by the molar mass for the whole thing, which is that 249.72, and multiply by 100. The grams per mole, it's on the top and the bottom, that'll cancel out, so the percent won't have any units. And when you do that, divide 90.10 by 249.72, multiply by 100, you find the percent composition by mass of the water in the whole copper sulfate pentahydrate to be 36.08%. Oftentimes in chemistry classrooms, they'll have you heat up copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate and that'll drive all the water off and just leave you with CuSO4. And that's just a white powder once you're done with that. And of course, it's lost quite a bit of mass. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.